Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Power Wash Simulator where in the previous episode we were once again tackling the career mode and we finished the, where is it here, the clean the shoe house which gives us enough money and enough actual spare to get the best cleaner that we can buy that is the heavy duty power washer, this one here, the Prime Vista 3000 and then we got the extended nozzle. In this episode we're going to tackle most likely this car, in fact we are going to tackle the vintage car car and then we're probably gonna have a look at the skate back so let's just jump straight in so we're settled into Esther's house now so this is one we cleaned up previously and it's so much fun every day brings a fresh dose of the paranormal this morning Jenny found a blob of syrup on her pancake that she just looked like a thirsty Roger from sister sister we set up uh, Esther vlog and people are loving her anyway we found this old car under some tarpaulin in the back of the garage J just randomly yes just the, yeah apparently um so yeah, I wonder if we can get it uh, clean, basically. Okay, we'll start this one, and we'll take a look at our new power washer. I don't know how you switch between them. I'm assuming it's as standard. You just uh, press this, and yes, we can change the power washer to the Prime Vista. Ooh, so this is a bigger power washer, different form factor there. Uh, it says wash me on the side. So once again, we can switch between the different nozzles. We can also put on the long extension there. So let's go ahead and try this thing and oh yeah that's um well it's cleaning that's for sure and i'm guessing we can just absolutely smash this really quickly like yeah like that it's um it's not too bad oh there is actually rust on it though i noticed there's some rust there so we'll have to take a bit of a look at that i'm just going to clean all of the wheels and stuff along here um obviously the noise of this thing is a little bit different um is that rust oh it is rust so the hubcap has rust on it. Right. So that is going to be a bit more difficult than I had anticipated. So there's the rust there. And you can see the rust's coming off. Yeah. Just have to be a bit more careful with it. all canopy that, right? And, well, canopy hinge is all rusty too. On this side, clean that off. Oh, see all the spray there. <laughs> nice. There's canopy hinge. And the door, still seeing it's dirty. Yeah. Okay. It's just where this rust is by the look of it. So this is a new type of dirt. I don't know if this would have even been possible with the old power washer. I really don't know. But 122% clean. Okay. Obviously things like the wheel, a lot of the dirt is just it's just dust and dirt that comes off very quickly. But obviously the rust, not so much. How are you cleaning the rust off? By using stuff that causes oxidization. <laughs> oh dear me. Taking an age to clean that one. Let's see if I can go underneath it. I have to get a bit, her bit heretical getting up here and standing on the car. But look at that. We've got the just just dirt. It's coming off very nicely. Scroll through Esther's archives online, apparently. Yeah, I do think just cleaning over. Oh, is that a cat being across? <laughs> I think there was like some. Paw prints there. No photos of, photos of her with the car anywhere, apparently. Clean that grill. This will all be rusty. Very rusty. Really difficult for it to clean. 
I wonder if metal cleaner would be good for this. Because obviously we're doing that. And we're getting all of this muck off. But I don't know whether or not we need some metal cleaner on this. And this is where the rust is, you see. 160%. A new job available. There's even more, is there? Well, we'll just keep on spraying. Can't imagine doing the engine any good while this water gets in. Then again, we don't even know if this is a runner. Taxed worse, like, but still. Turns out this car was in Esther's last film, driving me nuts. In it, she plays a skill teacher whose car has a talking steering wheel. Hmm. Poor conversation list with a negative mindset, apparently. Sounds like... Great thing to watch. Not really. Just trying to get this radiator grill done. It's also like the, the horn we have to clean as well. And because of the I don't have because the nozzle is um not great. We don't have the close in nozzle. Let's take a little while to clean this. Nature of the beast, I guess. Just clean this bumper as well because it's very rusty. And the wing. And the indicator. And the hub cap. And the tyre, most likely, we just have to get them inside like this. I don't know. So I don't know where the dirt on this is. Oh, up there is it? Yeah, there we go. There's still some rust there along that. So you can hardly see it because it's, well, dark red rust. Well, a rust colour, as you may imagine. You're probably up on what that is. Uh, and it's on red paintwork. So far from ideal. To be honest, I'm not really going to fuss too much over it. I'm going to try and just get the majority of it clean and then get that ting noise. And this grill clean from this side as well. It really, really is uh, to put clean. There we go. And there's all the rust in here. Bonnet. I like the little wing mirrors that are strapped to this, like the wheel. different. So I'm just going to stand on here and try and get all this rust off. I mean, to be fair, I don't know what we're going to do about the dents that we're causing, but there you are. It's 70% for or 73%. Can you like, open the bonnet or something? Certainly you can. <laughs> It'd be nice if you could. Okay, we'll just see if we can get the rest of this bit clean. Push down. Around there. The bump cap. Bump is not clean either, apparently. It's because you've got like these. It's there. There we are. That's nice. You can see the difference. So that's 
That's what it's like dirty. That's what it's like cleaned but with rust on. And then that's it. Fully cleaned. And I've actually used, I think, the correct reflection. Hmm. You can't get too close. I haven't got the right nozzle. Cap's clean. Let's get this. This will take us up to easily 85%. I think we've done the majority of this cleaning here. pieces. <laughs> well. Just got a lot of bright work and stuff now. There we are. Oh, there we A lot of the rust around where all the panels meet. I said I can't imagine doing this without no previous cleaner. Getting all that new stuff. Ninety percent. We have all the stubborn bits to do. But this should be a nice payout. Do the canopy from the trunk, which does just look like luggage. <laughs> like the trunk. All of what's a piece of the brass fittings are also rusty. And I thought that would have been able to rust. Oh, the shelf is rusty as well. well. It's a warm day so hopefully it'll dry out. Dry out fine. Here. Go from the other side and attack it from there. Get to the shelf of this as well. I think we're gonna have to go no nozzy. No no nozzle. Just go for the stubby. Cleans it okay. There's the bumper clean. Shelf. Mud guard. It's like under here. Where it's very easy to miss. Be the other side as well, I'm guessing. Oh no. So it's just the bonnet. By looking at what else? Oh, this better check details, door handles. Okay, underneath. I think it's this back, back left one. 
So it was door handles, it was headlights and horns. So it'll be this horn, I'm guessing. Yeah. And the headlights. This is fine. Hmm. Headlights. Three or four. Tires. So this is fine. This tire. From this angle, perhaps? Yes. Yeah, indicators. Maybe those headlights? That one? Yeah. So what's left? It is wing mirrors. Not that one. This one. Job complete! Alright, let's have a look. So there's the time lapse, and you can see very quickly get all of the muck and dust off, but the rust, yeah, a uh, lot more difficult. Okay, so phenomenal job on the car, Doc. Tracked it down, 1922 Chatsworth Roads to one of the only 10 ever made. <laughs> hmm. Good, good, good. Right, continue then. Um, I will go and buy equipment. The Prime Vista 3000 short extension. That's it. And we have fire station, skate park, or the forest cottage. We're going to try the skate park, I think. Muckingham Recreational Ground. It seems our little town is going up in the world. Muckingham Skate Park has been chosen to host the next country championships. Uh, or county championships. Uh, regionals! Uh, ordinary <laughs> leave the sullen types to roll around their own filthers. Uh, is their want, but if getting the papers and TV, we can't have people seeing all that grime and funny writing. So, I want you hit with everything you've got. Start the job. This does feel like we need clean it, and I don't have the cleaning nozzle. So I think we may be able to buy it halfway through, if desired. So I'll have a look around the place, and it is... Well, it's expansive, isn't it? It's very expansive. So what will... Good grief, look at all the muck. That is... Just, that's caked on mud. So what I'll do... We'll have to break it down like we've done previously. So the floor is the last thing we'll do. We'll do things like the, like the hips and uh, you know, like the ramps and things like that, and all of the, all the railings. So things like this fun box will start here. So we'll go with the short extension, and actually we'll probably go with the long one. There we go, and the 15 degree, and we'll see what one spray of this looks like. Oh, pretty good. Oh, even better. So I'm spraying this here with the 25 degree. Has anyone ever explained to you what kind of compound they use for structures such as these? I'm guessing you would. Well, not made of jelly, is it? Well, that's really quick to clean. And I'm not like, holding this on as well. Like very quickly. I wonder if we can go with that one. So this nozzle here is the 40 degree nozzle. Something we haven't really entertained in a long, long time. And yet, look at that. Doing a marvellous job. Okay. Let's stick with this for now, then. Especially on, especially on all the flat stuff. I think for some of it we'll have to switch out. And go with the more directed approach. There's the fun box. For this, which is the railing, we will use the 15 degree. No reason not to. As per 
We're attacking it from multiple angles here. There you are. Alright. Um, I think we'll try this. See so if we can get this railing. So we're getting part of this wall as well. Might as well hit this wall while we're here. So the majority of it's been oversprayed and cleaned anyway. So this feels like it's going to be one of the biggest jobs we've ever undertaken, if not the biggest. Um, I don't know whether that is the case. I don't know whether the house was more detailed or not. But we'll find out. In terms of surface area, this is as big, if not bigger, than the player park. The difference of this is it seems to have a lot more flat surfaces, so a lot more intricate things with the player park, whereas this one is. Uh, yes, you can just do that. Like you've seen there, I've just done that flat surface in pretty much no time at all. Making a nice job of it. This is very satisfying with all these flat surfaces. That's lots of lots of grime. Like oh, it's all mud rather than rust and such so far. So we can just quickly get rid of it, which is excellent. But it does feel like it's going to take quite a while. This one, which is fair enough. So just getting the most off these railings. There we go. Uh, got that done. So this wall is all the way up to there by the look of it and on that side. So once again we're going to um, just keep on like attacking things like, well we'll do this quarter pipe here. And the stairs. And a lot of the wall will just be done as a matter of course really. There you go. And the spring. This is the 15 degree. We're already on the long nozzle. At least you don't have to buy new nozzles for it. So the nozzles that we bought carry over. So that both the original power washer that we had and this one, that was slowly sliding down the stairs. I think that needs to be sorted at some point. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, the the nozzles they stay the same as they're used for all of the washes. By the way, well, say all the washes. I'm going to assume all the washes because well, we've only tried the two, and there's only three of them, and it seems to continue over. So. I think it's reasonable to assume that it will carry over. So we'll do this rail. A lot of grinding on here, I'm sure. And we've got the top. This side of it. I have a feeling it's going to be a bit difficult to get everything we need to get on this rail. Yeah, we've got a lot of underside here. Well, we've got to clean anyway. Alright, let's... Uh, this is all upper floor. I'm just going to cut in, as you can see here. <laughs> and we can get a lot of dirt removed with the 40 degree. Because of our upgrades. I certainly think that skipping the medium one was the right way was the way forward obviously we could have went over there and that means we would have been cleaning a lot faster in a couple of the maps previously but you know our patience has definitely been worth it We're only on six percent so this is definitely a, a two video clean 
We probably won't even get to 50% because obviously we've already done the car, so I don't want it to be hours and hours long, but we shall see how we get. There's the quarter pipe done. All right. It's going to be very brightly coloured, isn't it? Once it's um, once it's cleaned. Looks to be says wall. What well, says universal? I'm guessing concrete. Looks to be concrete. Very interesting features as well. I see where it's sort of. This is all one wall here. And that's yeah, that's a separate bit of wall. Oh yeah. I guess we have to go around the back. No, no, we don't. Uh, we will need some ladders though, I think. Yeah, we can put them up here. Oh, there's a top bit there to do as well. Didn't notice that before. Can I just stand up here? I can. Correct. Get up and over. Clean this. Didn't anticipate cleaning up here, but while we're here, we might as well get this bit done. It means we don't have to come back again. It's easier, isn't it? Well, across to there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. This bit, and there we are. I'm gonna pick up the ladder, and ah. once you've picked it up, you have to place it somewhere. Um, just out of the way, because I want to clean this wall here. And just close as you can. Get that spread down. You see, we're managing to get two. Two sections of wall there. Switch it to a different nozzle just to clean that. And curiously, I'm uh, not able to get the last part. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's good. Um, this one, corner ramp. Skin working with this nozzle and hitting not just the bit here but also the wall. I know it says graffiti though, so that's going to take either a cleaner or just patience with a with a more forks nozzle. I would assume. There we are. All right, let's work along. Didn't take a full look around this place to see exactly what it's like, but more drama. And there's loads of graffiti there. So we're just going to give this a once-over, just to get the mud off and then we'll come back with I'm hoping the 15 degree will do it otherwise it's going to be a bit problematic see there's a couple of bits that we're leaving but it's not a problem and I could just use that and do that oh yeah that seems a bit more satisfying than the white nozzle. This is a green nozzle, 25 degree. I mean I spent lots of money on the... I say I spent lots of money, I don't know how much money we spent on the nozzles, but I would probably just pick up the 15 degree, maybe the spiralizer. Oh yeah, that comes off with the 15 degree. 
Yeah, maybe the, maybe the spiralizer and perhaps the green, but unlikely. And save myself the cash. But then again, we didn't know. We tried them out. You know, your results may vary. You may prefer to use the his novel like this, so you can quickly just do that. Or, if desired, use the wider nozzles and just take more time. It's all up to personal preference. As long as it gets cleaned, that's all that really matters. I'm using the 15 degree on this one simply because there's graffiti on a lot of this, so I want to make sure that we get the graffiti off as well. Oh, it's uh. It's a bit dirty around here, isn't it? <laughs> As is the nature of the game, obviously. And that wall there, I don't know how we're going to clean that one. Oh yeah. Okay, we'll just have to do a couple of jumps and then we're there. Right, pick this up, place it down, out the way, and because there's graffiti on this, I will use the 15 degree. I'm going to cut around the wall. And again, we get that overspray. Now, I don't know which angle the camera is going to be looking at when it does its time lapse. But hopefully, it'll be looking at uh, the right way. That's nice. Um, I think we'll take a break from doing the wall bits. Oh, let's do this. Nice. Just cut around it here. It says spine. To be honest, my knowledge of skating and skate parks comes from... Basically, Tony Hawk's Pro Skate 2 and um, Jackass. So, yeah. <laughs> Extremely limited. Not up to date. And uh, probably wrong. I actually played the remake of Pro Skater 1 and 2. Should probably check it out at some point. By all accounts, quite good. Not getting much overspray when we're like that because it's not hitting it to the distance. Matters not though. And there we are. Right. I think we'll do this wall. Actually, it was this. I was actually going to do. Whoa! We did some tricks there. See that? And. Doing a couple of tricks. I was originally going to be doing, uh, going to work on this floor. So let's do that. Loads of bits left though. See that loads a little bit in. Don't like that. Just run along with this. Even then, it's leaving some. Slowly with this for the floor. I think that's the way forward. Get rid of that. Do we clean the wall and the floor at the same time and just work methodically through it? I don't know. I don't see why not. Maybe we can do that. A little bit missing there, but that's okay. We don't need to get everything completely covered. Or we can come back if there's any major bits that we're missing. You get more coverage in the centre of the spray rather than the corners, which makes perfect sense. Starting to fan out in the corners and all that.
gonna pick this up. Just place it out the way. And now, <laughs> up there, right? And then up the top here. By the way, today's beverages. <sighs> Grapefruit juice, which is really, really bitter. Ugh. It's still in date, but I had to check. <laughs> it doesn't taste like it is, but it is. See, so yeah, a lot of flat surfaces on this one. So not as intricate as the play park. Not as... I can use the term annoying, but not really. Um, not as fiddly, I think is the best term, as the small house that we did. The uh, shoe cottage type thing. Kids play one. So, yeah. It's certainly very satisfying, this one. Because it's just, you're getting, you're getting loads of stuff removed in one go like that. Which I really like. So not in any way challenging. And that is not a complaint. That is an observation only. I like that we can just, we don't have to worry about getting into every little bit and having to basically play a parkour game. To, <laughs> we're not, we're not parkouring around trying to find the correct angles. Obviously there will be a bit of that at times, but for the most part, no. We're just able to clean. clean. See, the 15 is really good, and the 40 is really good for this place. But for some strange reason, the 25, the green nozzle, just seems to be... Not good enough. Like it's, it's in between the two, but it's good at nothing. <laughs> You'd think, oh, that's gonna be the perfect one, but I'm not convinced it is. I'm sticking with this white nozzle here. And this is upper floor that we're doing. See, that's lovely clean. Go and work back. Just be a bit more careful there. Slowly does it. There we go. Looking down. Just to get this all in. I remember seeing a couple of people tweeting saying, Oh yeah, I've uh, Oh yeah, completed the game, yeah, yeah, we yeah, are great. Oh can't you know can't wait to see what you bring more. And I'm thinking, oh, there mustn't be many levels in there, because this was a day after the game came out. <laughs> I mean, this is... We're nearly ten videos in, and each video is ranging between half an hour to an hour long. So that's some dedication for cleaning, if they've been... Uh, <laughs> if they've completed it in that amount of time. They must really like cleaning. Can't get enough of it. I really can't. So this is a quarter pipe. And also the ramp. The ramp's pretty clean anyway. Because of all the spray. There we go. More clean. Quart pipe. As is the standard procedure, we'll clean right across it first. Cut around and then get, get this uh, get this quarter pipe done. Because of the way it's angled, it's perfect for us to just sweep like that. Because we're, we're maintaining the... What's this? So, archway, yeah. Full, it's a full pipe. <laughs> Yeah, we're maintaining the angle of attack. It's it's a constant uh, distance. Oh, and the more satisfying thing to clean goes to this watermelon type archway. Oh, that's nice. That's good. 
That's good. 11 out of 10. Wood clean again. Switching over to that nozzle. What can we do it that way as well? We can. I think that's probably the better one though. So we stand in the middle, we'll get everything in one go. Like that. It's getting most of it, not all. It is getting most of it as well. Might as well be close to this part. Just cut in there. And it's going to say a lot of it, even though we're doing this arch work, a lot of it's going to be dirty because there's the top bit to do as well, and round the back and sides, so that's why it's saying, oh, it's really dirty still. It's because it is, we haven't done the sides or the back. On the top, actually. Yeah. So if we go up the sides, you can see that's all dirty as well. This is reaching all the way up to the ladder there, so I'm pretty happy with that. And down here, we'll take the nozzle, and we're fine. We work from this side now. I was going to save this to the, like the last bit. Felt like that would be a nice throw at the top, but no. We've started, so we're going to finish it. Here. Put the green on that one. Yep, green nozzle's fine. Throw up the white one. Even better. Yep. Because of the time we have to keep it on. Just, this is just better than the green one, I think. Now, this is going to be the fun part. I'm going to say fun part, I mean, hideously precarious, but we managed to get up here. No dramas. Slowly heading down as well. You can see we're sliding down, but. That's alright, we're on top of it now. We are literally on top of the job. And we'll clean as much as we can and then slide down and get this side, which we'll do in a second. And that'll be the archway. Yeah, I think that's it done, that's a nice archway. So you can see, very much night and day. Obviously I'm not going to bother with the floor just yet. Um, let's get this quarter pipe done. Which probably won't take too long. I don't know if it curves round. It seems to curve round. Hitting something there. I don't know if all this is classed as quarter pipe. Seems to be. There we go. And then you stand here and you've got, let's say, constant distance to it, so it just cleans. It's not varying the distance. Good. Now, admittedly, we are cleaning some of the easiest bits here. But then again, most difficult after this, you're talking wall. Which is all flat planes, so... All flat surfaces. Oh, look at that. We don't even have to move. We just stand here and... Oh, oh okay. Quickly, uh... <laughs> quickly changes to the opposite, because we've got a, an inner curve, and now we've got an, an outer one, so... There you go. Is what it is, though. And I'll come close to complete here. Not a bit of cleaner used, and I don't intend to. It's a good job as well because I don't actually have the attachment for it. Let's get this ramp done. Cut in and around the ramp. Slowly sweeping. 
are they moving? And sweep up. No, this is ramp, I think. Yep. Let's get this section done while we're here. And then we'll just work our way up the ramp. Oh yeah, that's good. Nice. Just cutting it around it. That says quarter pipe. There seems to be a football over there as well. It. Which I think this place is uh, the wrong place for football. Get the wrong sort of rectional, uh, recreational ground. I mean, it might, it might make a an interesting subgenre. Football in a skate park. I can't imagine it worked the other way around playing. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. Uh, whoop. We're in the uh, we're in the ball. Yeah, I can't imagine skateboarding on a football field would be well possible. <laughs> <laughs> I assume it wouldn't be possible. Um, yeah, there you are. Don't know why I'm cutting all around here. <laughs> just, I just seem to start following the line and end up at this part, this section. This is the upper floor, is it? Yeah, there's all that to do. Um, you know what? I better finish this wall off because this corner is pretty much sorted. So I think it'd be rude not to do this. Look at that. And it's not there's not much on this wall anyway. No graffiti as far as I can tell. So it's very quick to do. I'll most likely need the ladder to work our way up. They're two different walls. Yeah they are. Okay. Let's get the ladder. I'll put it there. Go up the top. Oh, there's that bit done actually. Didn't realise that was necessary. Right, let me turn. <laughs> We're all over the place here. I'm going to stand on this wall as much as I can. And just go across there. And while I'm here, swap to this nozzle and clean all along. There we go. Didn't realise how high up I was there. Just doing this railing as well. Shouldn't really, should get back to the wall that I originally started. I've been accused of that in the past, I'm aware. I'm not finishing the thing we started. Valid criticism, I think. There we go. Right, this wall. And <laughs> yeah, you can see when we <laughs> when we go on them ramps, we end up going quite far up in it. Uh, Park Warden. There's one thing I know about concrete: it likes to be flat as possible. Likes to be flat. Uh, hey there, I've got one heck of a filthy sidecar if you fit us in. I can run it to you if that helps. Sidecar? Okay. I'm going to be bitly disappointed if there isn't a mini game where we can actually go on a skateboard after this. <laughs> Literally unplayable. 2 out of 10 uninstall. <laughs> I'm not really wanting to do a skate park floor at this stage. Let's uh, finish the rest, and then go from there, really. Because then the floor will be pretty clean anyway. Well, there's one of them interesting sections, this one. Well, we'll have to get the ladder, I think. But I'll hit, I'll hit with uh, this first and see what's left.
I think by the time we've done that, yeah, that'll be done. This one, not so much. And that one's got some graffiti on it as well. Uh, ladder, ladder, ladder. So, <laughs> see how, how we can get up there. And we'll put the ladder here. Switch over to a different nozzle. Get that done. I'm going to stand here as well. To do all along there. So you're actually able to stand on this wall, which is good. What I'll do is just clean the tops of these walls. Because why not? makes things easier later on for us. Can we drop down here? Yes, we can. And spray that. And I'm just trying to get to places where it's going to be a bit difficult to get to. So this wall should be quite easy now, even though there's graffiti on it. Because we can just do that. Yeah, this is a much easier job with the with the more powerful washer. In fact, let's go to that. Mm, it still does the job. I'll give it that. It does still do the job, but about the same pace as we were doing the other one, it's leaving bits. So yeah, that one. On surface, one, two, three, there's a couple extra pips on it. It's on things like ingrained and stubborn. We've got more, more control over it. Right, I think we will leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Power Wash Simulator and the skate park. We're on 43% uh, cleaned, which is more than I thought we'd get done. We have, obviously, the floor, a couple more ramps, some railings, some seating here, and all of the wall stuff. But not no big dramas, so hopefully in the next episode we will get that done. Either way, we're going to call it there for now. Hope you have enjoyed this episode of Power Wash Simulator and the series thus far. And hopefully it's been a nice chill one for you. Either way, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.